Okay, so this is the last bit of the a day with Matt. Um, first thing was that I haven't really mentioned this before. Um, the Spanish police look for the vans a lot here, um, but I find I don't get any problems with mine because it's the Caravel and it's more like a camper van minibus. They flag me through; they don't bother with me. Um, so that's a little handy tip if you're looking for a vehicle. Uh, as you can see, I was, you know I was on about the road earlier, you can see they've dug all the way along. Um, they've been busy on there all day. The, the big turmoil in here though is the fact that people don't know how to use the one-way system. So we've had people going down the one-way streets the wrong way all day as well. <laughs> well, not just people in cars, people on bikes. Just got to watch, watch your back. Uh, but this time of night, I take the rubbish down. So I'm just taking the bins down. Been working on spreadsheets for the last few hours. I'll have a break. Then I go back and do another couple of hours um, to get work finished for Friday. You hear the crickets? It's nice. I'll just put the bins in. And this is where I like to come and sit. It's a little bit quiet. Some people camping over there, look. <coughs> Holiday season almost here. This, this bar has been sold and is now New Corner 2 because New Corner 1 is right up there somewhere, miles away. Um, the funny thing is there was a minimum order and stuff in this bar at the restaurant, that's why I don't think it did too well. But this time of night I like to take a walk just to relax, taking some of the fresh air. As you can hear the waves are lapping away, it's pretty chilled out. And these are closed, but I th in the holiday season they're open. I mean, we, we sit down here at, I don't know what time o'clock, 12 o'clock we've been here. Me and Igor go for a beer now and then, now and again. Igor does a lot of uh, construction work and refits, so we're, we sort of fit it in between when we've both got time available. But... This is this is the life. This is the this is what I enjoy. And this is this is the key element. Is doing what makes you happy. This makes me happy. I've spent a bit of time with my kids. Um, they've had their dinner, watching a watching a bit of the old YouTube, and they're now getting ready for bed. Homework done. All ready for school. Although I think the schools are off tomorrow because there is a strike on relating to pay cuts. Is it pay cuts? I think it's uh, the school cuts uh, relating to getting rid of some of the teachers and stuff. Um, there's another strike on relating to Valencian on the 14th as well, because they're trying to push Valencian as being the most important language in the area. Now, you may say, oh, well, that's not your country, blah, blah, blah. Hey, but over 50% of the population here aren't even Spanish. <laughs> Half, half of the population of Torreja in this area are not Spanish. They're from everywhere, from the Netherlands, from Russia, wherever. Um, and they're already learning Spanish. But talking to some of the Spaniards here, they don't speak Valencian either. So they don't want their kids being forced to do it. Like they say, English is more important. Um, for, from a future point of view, getting work, etc., because um, one thing a lot of people do struggle with in Spain is the English language. Now, I'm not saying they should speak it, I'm just saying it gives you an advantage. The same reason my kids are learning Spanish and already speak English. I recognise the advantage of speaking Spanish. It's beneficial to speak the two main ones, and then I think your local dialects should be a bit further down the queue. But the, the main concern with this is if Valencian becomes the primary language 
because then they start to look to get lessons taught in Valencian and so things like doing kids doing mathematics are then being taught in Valencian and it becomes a lot more complicated and difficult because they're not fluent in the language yet which is one of the things I'm not agreeing on I think it should be taught as a language and not enforced as a, you must do and we're going to change everything to suit it because it doesn't benefit anybody all the sand was back. I don't even notice. All the, oh, this is where all the sand was missing. You can see where they brought it in by the truck. Can you see that? These big, big mounds. They brought all the sand in. I don't know where they brought it from, but all that was washed away before they brought it all back. Ready for the holiday season. There's a few boats out there as well tonight. You can see the little lights on. I love it here. I love the fact that it's quiet. I love the fact that you can just wander around, nobody's bothering you, you're not bothering anybody else. And it's just chilled out and relaxed. This restaurant opened up this year. I don't know if it'll be back this year. This is a good location if you want a restaurant. Oh, that was, this one's a nice cream one. We like that we go to this one, Madamar, for breakfast. This is a nice little restaurant. Get a um, bit of um, bread with olive oil, a little bit of um, tomato on the top, nice cup of coffee. Great kickstart the day. It's cheap and cheerful. And relaxing. And you see the plaza, very quiet. It's bizarre though, bizarre thing here is, uh, it's the same as the Middle East, it goes quiet and then suddenly there's a flurry of activity at certain times of the day. Because um, when we went to the shopping malls out in Oman, Dubai, or whatever, well, it's mainly Oman that was a bit strange. Because in Dubai it seemed busy all the time, but in Oman, people seem to go shopping at about 10, 11 o'clock at night. So you get there and you're just like, hang on a minute. Like here, you'd expect it to be like this. <laughs> but actually people come out shopping at night in, in a man. Police might bike over there. There's some police about tonight. Oh, there's a guard here as well. Because in Spain there is actually, I believe, four. That's the guard here, the four before. There actually is, I believe, four different um, police. There's the local police, national police, the Guardia, and there's another one. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But they all have different roles, which is why if you go, oh, my wallet's been stolen or whatever, at the wrong office, they're just like... <laughs> not interested, not even in filling in the report. They're just like, when you're in the wrong place, we deal with traffic or whatever. <laughs> This restaurant's really good. This is the um, honey restaurant, honey kebab. The food's really good and there are nice people in there. I think they're Polish, but they're really friendly in there. We spend a lot of money in there. Uh, so one of our favorite restaurants. I'm not gonna say a, their favorite because everybody does different food. If you don't know already, we love food. It's one of the uh, one of the joys of living in here. We've got a lot of restaurants right on our doorstep. They're all walking distance. But a bizarre thing I've just realised: I don't even drink beer when I go to the restaurants. The reason it's bizarre is that I normally don't drink if I'm driving. But I've just thought about it. Every time we go out, we walk, and, <laughs> and I still don't drink. This it must have been. I've been must have been doing it too, so long now. I just don't bother. How weird. This is. I'm going to walk in. Is the supermarket open or closed? Ah, that supermarket's closed. I don't know what time it is to be honest. But there's a little bar in the corner there. 
That's a max co-op. I thought I'd pop in the supermarket on the way home. And like, like this, I just come out and bimble around, have a wander around, just for a bit of exercise. And the good thing now is I'm back in t-shirts already. Oh, it's that past nine, according to the pharmacy. I'll take a walk back along the coast again. Surprised some of the restaurants, well, the restaurants were open. I'm surprised that the, the bars weren't open at the end there. But it is getting a bit busier now. Certainly a lot more people around compared to a couple of weeks back. The funny thing, there's some nice apartments for sale here. Now, this isn't a sales pitch. There's some nice apartments here, right on the plaza. Only thing I would say is if you've got young kids, I wouldn't. And if you, if you don't like noise, I wouldn't. <laughs> because this area here is where all the events are. So when there's like a big fiesta or music event, or like we had the zombie invasion type thing, it's all here, right here. Myself, wouldn't bother me. But you'll see... There's one for sale on the corner over there, on the third floor up there. There's one for sale on the second one down there. One on the bottom on the left. One on the top there. <coughs> but some of these prices are quite reasonable now. You just, like I said, you just got to shop around. If you said, Matt, can you find me a three bedroom apartment in the matter? that's under X, I'll find you more than one, I'll find you a few and I'll, I'll quite happily go around and bother the agent to get the pictures and stuff for you. We watch the football here, the Mar Bien, have the old live football matches. Also, Honey Kebab does, but it's a bit smaller. I know that sounds a bit boring if you're not interested in football, but... <coughs> For me and Igor, it's a reason to get out and have a chat. Just go and sit and watch the football. If you like steaks, the Argentinian Steakhouse is over there. Um, it looks far, it's not that far. You can walk along the front here, up to it. you got to sort of go in and then out and then round, but there's an Argentinian Steakhouse and they do the old flamenco dancing there as well. I haven't seen it yet myself. But I do know they do it, and the state there is fabulous. It's a nice, really good stuff. But as you can see, it's still pretty quiet. And I, this is my day, you see. This is what my day looks like. I know some people, your life's so bloody boring. I know, but it's not stressed either, is it? And for me, I like this. This is what, you know, coming along, just enjoying living on the coast. Tides out by the looks of it. You can see where there's some sand still being washed away here, look. See where the rocks are exposed. All that's normally under the water. But that's, that's pretty much me, you know. I just enjoy... Things like this, and uh, yeah, you know, I'm not interested in flash cars. I'm not interested in ego type stuff. I've done all that stuff. I'm quite happy to just relax and chill out.